Hi, this is Greg Maxwell with Amicus Settlement Planners. Wanted to talk to you today about a really common question that we get regarding special needs trusts and, and government benefits planning more particularly. So a question we often get is from attorneys that are working with clients that are on SSI or Medicaid. They don't necessarily want to set up a special needs trust or they don't necessarily want to spend the funds down in the calendar month that they receive them. So they try to get creative and they think, well, maybe I'll just send the settlement check to the client's brother. And then the client's brother can just kind of, you know, dole him out some money here and there when he needs it. We trust the brother and we feel good about that. The problem with that is SSI is not okay with that and Medicaid's not okay with that. Um, Medicaid's going to know if there was a settlement, especially be, because generally there was a Medicaid lien that you had to negotiate as part of the settlement process. So Medicaid knows that the client's already on Medicaid. So they're going to know that something has to happen with that, that, that plaintiff's settlement recovery and they want to know where it went and that it, was ex that it was spent on either exempt assets in the calendar month that the client received it or that it went into a special needs trust. Okay? And SSI generally is going to know that the client received a settlement as well. So sending it to a brother or to a parent or to someone else other than the client and thinking that that's going to keep, keep everyone on benefits and everything will be copacetic, it's not a good idea. So if you've got a client in that situation, I realize that the, the options are very slim sometimes and it's frustrating to the clients in a lot of situations. Give us a call. We'll try to be as creative as we can within the rules so that we keep them on benefits and keep you as a plaintiff attorney out of trouble um, for doing something that is against SSI and Medicaid rules.